Hello, this is Peter from Old Man King Homestead. It's Friday afternoon, it's in the 70s, and the sun's shining. A little bit warmer than it was yesterday. A beautiful day today. All this afternoon, my plans got changed, but in a good way. Had a friend stop in and ask me if I wanted to go to the free food giveaway with him. I said, sure, I'll go. I'll go get some free food. So, we went to the church that we went to last month. And I'll show you in a minute here what I got today. The incubator worked well for its first night. My battery ended up lasting nine hours. From being fully charged till it was fully dead, it lasted nine hours. So that's not too bad. I'm going to have to run my generator more than usual, so hopefully I have gas enough to do that for the next three weeks, but hopefully in three weeks I can have some checks. I'm hoping. Okay, let's see what I got done today. The food for these food giveaways is supplied from the Food Bank of Central New York. Got a coconut, some cucumbers, lemon, tomato, and two tomatoes, a few pears, a pepper, onion, and I'm not sure what this is, eggplant. Peaches, I don't think I said peaches. Romaine hearts. Snow peas. Shredded iceberg lettuce. Strawberries. Then this box. A cake, garlic cheese, finishing butter, that sounds good, a Greek salad, some yogurt, And if anyone wants to try that name, I don't. Some biscuits. So I guess I can have strawberry shortcake. A loaf of Italian bread. Got some cookies here. Got a a main dish here. Unfortunately, with that sauce on it, I won't be eating that myself. I had a request for a tour of the property. So here's a little bit of a tour. I'm staying just about on the property line. And here's the pig pen. There's the barn over there. And the property goes back to, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you see a couple of blue things sitting on the ground there. Goes back to about there. Camper on the left is a camper I used to live in. I got a new one about ago, three years ago. So I just use that for storage now. The one on the right was the landlord's. He sold that. The guy just hadn't taken it yet. And, um, oh, we're looking down into my front yard here. Here's my freezer. 
depending on how much I can run the generator. Sometimes it's the freezer, sometimes it's the refrigerator. This is my camper here. That reflective stuff that you see on the windows blocks the sun so it doesn't get so hot when the sun's beating down. This is my washer and dryer. I'm using the washer right now. I use that whenever I've got water. Don't always have access to water, but today I do. So, doing a load of laundry today. I haven't used the dryer this year. I've been hanging my laundry up to, um, to save on the propane. Here's just a look into the woods. There's the chicken coop over there. Here's my generator. It's been running pretty good since I cleaned out the carburetor and added some dry gas to it. So hopefully that continues. Got my camper plugged into this, and the red cord goes out front to run my washer and supply power in my office area. Then the black cord directly underneath the red one goes to my freezer. And this is just looking around out back. That opening you see towards the back there. That's on the property behind this property. Just some more woods here. This is a small piece of property. My landlord bought it from a family member. It's been in this family for quite a while. I'm not sure the acreage, but it's only an acre or two. I want to clear out some of these dead trees. That one there. That's dead. A couple small ones there are dead. And this would be an area big enough for my next surprise. I guess I've kept everyone in suspense long enough. The package I got hurt on last weekend was a chicken run. That was bought for me. By the same person that bought me the chicken coop. I really appreciate that. And I'm going to do a little clearing this area. I've been trying to figure out where I want to put it. And with the weather, haven't been able to get out here as much as I wanted to. But I've done a little looking around. I think this is where I want to put it. It'd be up dry enough when we really get into the wet season. It should stay dry in here. And it's... By well, the time I get the dead trees out of the way... There won't be any trees in the way. So I'm going to get the frame set up to that. Hopefully it works out here in this area. And then I have a friend that told me he'll help me put the netting over it. So hopefully in the next few days I can have that up. Lucy was outside of the run. So I already put her in the coop. And here's where the rest of the chickens are. Every night, they're on top of the coop, and I have to put them inside. Except if it's raining, Buffy will be inside. She's the only one. She's the smartest one. If it's raining, she goes in. But every other night, they're on top of the coop. I think Earl has something to say.
to try to get that Wi-Fi extender figured out. I want to do another live within the next few days, so I need to get that working. I'll have to try to figure out why it's not connecting to the website. Hopefully I can get that resolved tomorrow. And I'm going to start working on the new chicken run tomorrow. And we'll see what else I can get done tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please like my video. And please keep watching. Enjoy your holiday weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one, everyone.